Hi, I'm Aimai, and welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace spark plugs on a Honda Insight second generation, which applies to 2009 to 2014 models. The reason we're doing this is because there were codes that we just got, P0300 to P0304. And I did a separate video talking about those codes if you're interested in checking it out, or maybe you have the same issues. But we're going to get right to the repair. The first thing that we're going to do is make sure that our key is out of the ignition, nowhere near the ignition, and that our battery is disconnected. Okay, so let's take that out and let's cover it just to make sure. Okay, so next we're going to go to the engine and we're going to take off the manifold cover. So to do this, you just simply pry it off. And uh, this is how it goes on. You can see that there are these two uh, um, pins that go in these two holes. So you just pull them out. And we're going to set that aside. So before we continue, there is something unique about this car, this model of car that you should know. Some Honda Insights, I I've heard apparently like Japanese and European cars uh, Honda Insights, they have only four spark plugs. However, some models of the Insight, the second generation Insight, have eight spark plugs. Four on the front and four in the back. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get a... Oh, we do have a good deal of the four in the back. Unfortunately, I will not be able to show you how to remove them in the back because it's a very hard uh, angle to fit. But if you're replacing your spark plugs, you should do all eight and you should check if your car model has eight spark plugs or four before you continue so here's the general procedure so we're going to take a look at an ignition coil so this is an ignition coil right here we're going to re uh, detach the cable we're going to pull it out and you can either use your your hand to pull it out or a pliers if it's really hard and then we're going to use a wrench to take out this uh, I believe it's 10 millimeter bolt. And then we're going to pull out the ignition coil. And then we're going to loosen and remove the spark plug. It's up to you if you want to do them uh, one at a time or all at once. But I suppose since we're here and we're, we know that we're going to replace all eight of them, we're just going to do all of it at once. So let's pull this out. And that's this one. Okay, and so let me just double check if this is 8 millimeter. I mean 10 millimeter. Okay, it's 10 millimeter. You might need to use an extension. In our case, it looks like we won't have to. And we're going to loosen it. These shouldn't be too hard to loosen because they're only, I believe, you know, 8 foot pounds of torque. Oh. But these could be rusty, so that's that might be why it's a bit hard to take out initially. So this is what one of the bolts looks like. And you want to store that somewhere safe. While we're here, before I continue, I'll take out the ignition coil and show you what it looks like. Gently pull it out. And that's what the ignition coil looks like. With the ignition coil out, we can take a look at the spark plug. That's where it is. So you'll need a socket with an extension to reach in there and take it out. And after you take this out, let me just make sure. being very gentle right now because I don't want to break anything. Okay, so this spark plug is very hard to get out. And it shouldn't be that hard because these are meant to be torqued at about 18 foot pounds. And so, you know, the reason it could be tight is because it's really old, it hasn't been replaced in a while, or because it's hot and metal expands. So we tried taking a second one out. This one seems to be much easier to take out. 
Um, and so I don't know what we'll do with the first one. Maybe we'll let it cool down. Uh, maybe I'll let my dad handle it. I just don't want to break it because it would, it would really suck if it broke. You're also going to need a magnetic bit to actually retrieve the spark plug uh, once it's loosened enough. Um, I, I say this only if you don't have an already magnetic bit. In our case, this one is magnetic already. Um, if your bit is not magnetic, then just use a telescoping magnet to re retrieve it. I believe this one, you can use it, so. Okay, let's just take this out. This is okay, this is at this point. All right, it's loose enough. And so now, this one, I don't know if it's, is this magnetic? Hold on. There we go. So that is the spark plug retrieved. Well, it looks okay. I mean, it is a bit dirty, a bit corroded. Um, but as far as like, compared to the worst case scenarios, it's not super dirty, it's not super ruined, so it looks okay. But it definitely is good to replace uh, the spark plug. Definitely after the many miles this car has. So one thing you want to do after you take out the spark plug, you want to make sure that these holes don't get contaminated. You have two options. One of them is to cover them up with a paper towel. You know, stuff a paper towel inside this, prevents any contaminants from getting inside it. Another option is to use compressed air and blow out um, the hole to make sure that there are no contaminants inside it when you replace the spark plug. Okay, so apparently, my dad wanted to say, apparently that whole blowing air thing is a huge point of contention. A lot of people will fight about it. Um, and so, just to be sure, you can either use a paper towel and stuff it in, full sheet, make sure it's a clean paper towel, of course, and you want to roll it up and just stuff it inside there to make sure no contaminants can get into it. Another option you have is to simply take the ignition coil that we just took out and cover the hole with it. That way, no contaminants can get into the hole. Right, just for good measure, I'm going to do one more on camera. Uh, we'll see if we do some on the back. It's, it's really hard to get a camera angle, so I can't promise you. But let's get this done. Pretty simple job. Uh, we need to get this done as fast as possible so we can get to AutoZone and, uh, and uh, get the replacement. This is not going to fit. I need an extension. There we go. has a quick change. All right. Also, make sure that your parts don't fall off. Very easy to lose this. It's supposed to go right here. Make sure that's in place. We put this aside. Take this out. Nice. So we're gonna set that aside here. And take the spark plug out. I'll need a wrench. And eventually when it's loosened, when it's loose enough, then I can take the wrench off and just loosen it by hand. Okay. Okay, I think it's good enough to pull out. There we go. Yeah, also looks okay. But yeah, so now we have to do this for the remaining five. Okay, update. We were finally able to loosen the first bar plug. 
uh, you have to be really careful when you're removing the spark plugs because you know it's okay if you break the part up here but if you break this part here this metal part that's that's game over for you i'm not sure how to help you there so just be very deliberate when you're taking these out oh if you think that was the hardest part of it though just wait until we get oh by the way hold on. let me take it out after this now we have a new obstacle which is getting to the back and i imagine that we're gonna have to use a um extension with a manual uh wrench to actually uh, not even to get the spark plugs out which is gonna be even hard but to get just the uh the bolt for the ignition coil out so we'll see how that goes all right out of the frying pan and into the fire let's give it a try so first thing you want to do is feel for the bolt you know you want to look at the older the other uh, ignition coils you've taken out just to get a sense of where the bolt should be yeah so taking out the, taking out the back uh spark plugs is gonna be a nightmare because uh just taking out the cable itself is uh not impossible it took us five minutes just to take out one of them and you, you know if you have small hands it's easy because you might be able to reach if, if you're especially strong then you would be able to grab them but if this is an old car and you have large hands good luck trying to take them out because pliers are most probably not going to be able to help you here uh but once you get those cables out next is getting the bolt and that in itself is a task because you have to find just a, a good combination of tools that will allow you to get the angle to actually twist it out you know this is too small this is too short and i mean also if we and, and this doesn't give you the right angle you need to find a set of tools that is just the right length and also has um, a bend in it so that you can have the right angle to twist it out so now we want to take out the bolt one thing you want to be really careful for is that um also let me take the wrench out is that you don't want to lose the bolt because it's all the way in the back of the engine and it would be such a nightmare if you lost it but thankfully i believe the bolt is in like a recess so it shouldn't fall out into the engine oh but yeah imagine if, so if it's a, if it's hard to do it for just one of them just imagine doing all four of them okay i got it out and there we go also keep in mind when you're looking hello oh my god it's on there okay so <laughs> if your car is old it's gonna be very rusty so just keep that in mind it might be hard also keep in mind the front ignition coil is different shaped than the back ignition coil the front ignition ignition coil has the bolt on the back side the opposite side of the um cable the cable port but the back ignition coils have the bolts on the side so you have to keep a lookout for that when you're feeling around for it like i like i told you it's it's very hard to do the back side okay so i don't feel any resistance anymore so that means i should be able to pull it out come on Okay, let's give this another try. All right, let's try taking it out. Whew. And there we go. Ah, oh, you are extremely difficult to remove and I'm so glad you're finally out. But there we go. That's one of the black, one of the back spark plugs finally taken out okay three more to go okay so we're gonna do the other three we're not gonna show on camera but of course the most important thing is to stuff the hole make sure no contaminants get in especially because we can't exe we can't exactly see what we're working with and there's a chance that the other bolts could fall into the hole so let's just make sure it's sealed
Okay, so we got all the spark plugs out. Uh, what, at one point we encountered a problem with taking out a stripped bolt. Um, where is the stripped bolt, actually? Oh, right here. And so we actually had to use uh, one of these bolt puller sets. I think I did a video on this, actually. Go check that out if you're interested. But we had to use it to take this out. Not sure if they sell replacements to AutoZone, so best thing we can do is instead of putting this on the back, where it's going to be hard to get out next time, we'll put it on the front side instead. But like I said, in summary, to take out the back side, uh, you have to use an assortment of parts. Uh, if you want to use the wrench from the front side, you would try to uh, insert the um, the five inch the five inch socket in the back, then put the wrench, and then angle it so that you can take it out. Or your alternative is to take a wrench that's small enough and go from the back. So simple as that. Because it's getting dark out right now. I'm not going to do installation in this video, if we do an installation video. But it's um, pretty simple to reinstall it. You just have to make sure that you torque everything properly. If you're interested, to torque the spark plugs, it's 25 Newton meters or 18 foot pounds. To torque the bolts that go off the ignition coil, it's um, eight Newton meters or six foot pounds. All right, so we're gonna go to AutoZone and get replacement spark plugs. Um, and that's where I'm gonna close the video. I'm Aiman, and thanks for watching. Uh, today I showed you how to remove, sadly not replace, uh, in this video, uh, the ignition coil and the uh, spark plugs on a second generation Honda uh, Insight, which also applies to 2009, 2014 models. Thanks for watching. Please, please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I'm Aiman, and I'll see you there. If you're interested, go check out that video on the P0300 code to P0304. And I'll see you there. Uh, we're also, while we're, while we're here, we're also gonna check the ignition coils to make sure that they're working. So we're also gonna do a video on how to check them using a multimeter. So go check that out. We're also gonna do a video on replacing the windshield wiper um, assembly on uh, Uncle An's car. So go check that out if you're interested. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you there. But for now, I'm Ayman and signing out. Peace. Okay, also one thing, you can make it easier by putting the ignition coil on the ground and then being able to use your two hands to measure it. Uh, this one also measures 1.84. That's interesting that it measures differently depending on um, which terminal you use. Okay, so I'm gonna do this like that. I did the uh, first one. I'm gonna insert the extension and the wobble bit first. Make my way around. And insert it. Oh, that's bright. Then take the torque wrench, insert it into the wobble bit. Okay, and then we're going to tighten it. Oh, let me just check to make sure that it's still at 13 foot pounds. There we go. It's torqued at 13 foot pounds. And now we can insult, now we can take out the torque wrench first. And then the rest of the uh, extensions. So you have to do this every time for all four of the spark plugs. So you can see how annoying it gets when you're working in the back.